Are toroidal transformers better? This question comes from Paco in Toledo, Spain. Hi, Paul. I'm Paco from Toledo, Spain, not Ohio. <laughs> Good job, because the first thing I think of when I hear of Toledo is um, <laughs> in Ohio. And it's funny, you know, many, many cities in America are named after cities in Europe and England. Um, we, and we don't even think about that. They just seem like, you know, s totally, you know, New York. I mean, York, England, right? Uh, New Brunswick. I mean, it's, you, you go through, uh, oh, I mean, on and on and on. And I didn't know that Toledo was from Spain. There you go. Um, I've heard that toroidal transformers are better than traditional ones for audio amplifiers. So what's true about that claim, and if so, why? What's the difference? P.S. Audio. P.S. Audio. Oh, I see. <laughs> I love the sound of my Sprout paired with my father's old AR speakers, despite not being fitted with a toroidal transformer. <laughs> well, we use almost exclusively toroidal transformers for our power supplies that we build separate. So. The Sprout uses a module from ICE out of Denmark. So the power amplifier, where all the power comes from, uses a Class D module, and it has a, a switch mode power supply. Most switch mode power supplies run at very high frequencies, and so they use these, and they, they, it's cheaper. Toroids are, are expensive, and so they're, they're going for cost on those suckers, and it doesn't really matter when you're doing a high frequency switch mode power supply. So they use little uh, IEs. So let me show you. Um, a traditional transformer <coughs> is this. So what I'm showing here, this is what's called an EI transformer. <coughs> and it, it's a, a series of, it's a square for Ohm's Law listeners. We're looking at a square with a round bobbin on, on it. So just picture this square block of iron, which is made up of little interleaved laminations, little thin sheets, uh, actually in the form of E's and I's, that are put together to form the core of this. And then there's wire wrapped around the, the bobbin on this. And this, this is what's called an EI transformer. And it's the lowest cost transformer. We don't use many of these. First off, we don't think they sound quite as good when it's at 50 and 60 hertz. They can, but for the most part, it's a lot easier to get a toroid to sound better. And it's a lot easier to get a toroid that is quieter. So transformers buzz and hum if you don't build them just right. And these EIs are very difficult to get so the laminations here don't rattle and buzz when you plug it into the wall. We used to do stuff when we used these. We would super glue the laminations together. We put epoxy over them. We'd do everything we possibly could to get them to be quiet. And it was really, it was really quite a challenge. And they didn't sound quite as good, but they were cheaper. So here... Well, here's here, so we don't kill me. <laughs> here's a little toroid. There's, if you can see, there's big. This is, this here. I'll pick it up. Oh, why not? Oh, I mean, this is probably 30 pounds. This is a big toroid, and uh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> As you can see, I'm going to hold the little guy. All right, this is more of something we put into a DAC or something. The toroids are round, and Remember how we had laminations, that square set of laminations on here? Well, you can't see them, but inside on a toroid, those laminations are basically steel that is wound around in a circle. And then there is a machine that, that takes these, the, that, this, you can see the copper. You can look up here, you can see there's copper on here. These are copper wires that are wound around that steel core to form the toroidal transformer. The field is more contained on a toroid. It's more efficient. And in our opinion, yeah, it sounds better. And that's why for just about every product that PS Audio makes, we use toroidal transformers rather than EI transformers. Both can sound great. There are, oh, you know, there's tons of different 
variations on the EI. There's a split bobbin, there's a, uh, oh, what do they call that? Don't remember now. But anyway, there's a whole bunch of different ways to do it. And some of them are just extremely good sounding. But in general, it's a lot easier to make a quiet, great sounding transformer by using toroids, which is mostly what we use. Okay? All right. Thanks for the question. Have fun out there in Toledo. All right. Talk to you later. Bye. Thank you.